Okay, YouTube, we're going to get a copyright strike for this one, but this is a new song out by a band that is a metal band, Born of Osiris. This is something that I ended up on my playlist scroll, and I'm going to talk through most of it to say what I have to say about the idea of hi-fi systems, music systems in general, with the ability to reprodu reproduce accurate and transient responses. This isn't your typical hi-fi music, I know. <laughs> but what a bounce, that feels so cool. Anyways, I, I'm, I'm really, really into music and a lot of kinds of music. And what I have to say about metal <laughs> what I have to say about metal music and playing in systems like this now it's aggressive it's noisy there's a lot of stuff going on but think about that for a second complex passages in classical music have the same kind of deep layered harmonics resonances you need to be able to hear into the music so if your speakers and your amps and all of your electronics don't lend themselves well to reproducing really fast transient sort of responses and your room echoes like a chamber then you don't get to hear all of the finest sort of quick impulses that happen with quick passages of very rapid note changes the dynamics or sound and reflections and re reverbs that are captured in them recording because if your room adds to it and your system can't get out of its own way then what you get is sloppy noisy distorted inaccurate representations of your music that's why i like hearing systems perform well to metal So there's space in the song here. Between the notes, they break it down a little bit. But in a lot of the deep parts of the song, it gets really dense. There's a lot of bass going on. There's a lot of like pulses, right? Impulse response. So there's sort of a harmony there. There's a chorus there where there's a wider sound stage. A mind short circuiting. <laughs> very, very cool. So, now I don't know how many of my followers, subscribers, or anybody that's tuned to the channel to find out what I think about things. I don't know how much you're going to appreciate metal, but. The thing that I'm testing out today in the last couple of days is the Orchard Audio Star Crimson Ultra Stereo Amplifier. See in the reflection there, there's only two channels connected. Left and right, they're XLR from my Rotel. That's why I have the mirror, by the way. I have this all set up so I can shoot picture in picture and show you behind the amp. So that's a metal tune by Born of Osiris. I'm testing out the uh, Star Crimson Ultra Stereo Amp on the Arundel 1723 Towers, blah, blah, blah. So many specs and information to share in terms of model numbers. Uh, <laughs> the reason why I like hearing fast passages is to test the amp's ability to control the diaphragms of the speakers, how accurate is the bass response, how quickly and intricate do I hear the notes? Do the high frequencies blur? Do they smear? Am I extracting everything I want from something very, very complicated? EDM, trance, house music, uh, passages that are classical or piano and cello together, as well as like complex drumming, like uh, marching band or jazz band or that, those kinds of things where the drums are very, very punchy and, and there's lots of attack. You want to hear that the amp can actually push that music and actually impact very powerfully. So this amp is actually doing very well. It's a little bit less gain than I would normally have expected from amps. My Rotel wasn't far ahead of it, but it is a little bit less. So I'm finding that I have to turn up my dial a little bit more than I was. But overall, 
my my initial impressions of the Star Crimson Orchard Audio amp are really good. I appreciate their character. There's more text, uh, texture and grip in the bass. I mean, I have if eight eight inch woofers in this pair, so I can hear a lot of that texture. Mid range is full like normal. The high frequency is still very clean. They are 92 dB sensitive, so that's even better for a GANFET technology amplifier to reproduce on. It's a very efficient amp. These are very efficient speakers. So what happens is you get more dynamic play and more hold on the music. In my opinion anyways, in here in this room that's mostly treated, even though some of them are falling off the ceiling, which I will change eventually. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this a short one. I'm gonna load this one just for my Saturday update. Thank you to my friends that are following and those who wish to comment, comment below, comment feet if you make it this far. <laughs> I'm going to continue to annoy people that say stuff in comments that they don't like. And then as soon as you say you don't like it, I'm going to give you more of it. <laughs> so comment feet if you make it this far. Let me know what you think in terms of demo songs and music that are very complex and dense. And what do you get out of that character and that kind of performance? This is my test. I use metal and I use Psytrance and I use drum and bass. That's a very dense, complex music. And I want to see that it's translating well without smearing. So I'll see you in the next video, possibly tomorrow. I don't know. I mean, none of my schedule is scheduled. <laughs> it's very random. But I will see you in the next one and I appreciate you. Uh, let me know what you think. You can comment as much as you like. If you can't comment and you need to sign up for YouTube, I understand that there's a limitation between what non-subscribers or subscribers or account holders and maybe you'll find this video randomly and go, hey, what the hell is this guy talking about? Commenting is really all I would like to hear back. Your feedback and thoughts, as long as they're respectful and they make sense, <laughs> uh, I appreciate it. So I'll see you in the next one. Have a great Saturday. Take it easy.